Once upon a time, in the enchanting city of London, there lived a special elephant named Dumbo. Dumbo was no ordinary elephant. He had ears that were bigger than any other elephants. These ears, although they made him look different, had a magical power. They could lift him up into the air, allowing him to fly. One rainy morning, Dumbo decided to explore the city of London. He had always been curious about the world beyond the circus where he lived. With a flap of his big ears, he soared into the rainy sky and landed gently on a quiet footpath. As Dumbo strolled along the footpath, his ears acted like big umbrellas, keeping the raindrops away. He saw children jumping in puddles and couldn't resist joining in the fun. The kids were amazed to see an elephant that could fly, and they giggled with delight as Dumbo playfully splashed around with them. After the puddle jumping adventure, Dumbo continued his journey along the footpath. He passed by a colorful flower shop where the scent of fresh blooms filled the air. Dumbo decided to buy a beautiful bouquet of daffodils with his shiny coins. The florist was surprised and happy to see a flying elephant and gladly accepted Dumbo's payment. Dumbo's adventures didn't stop there. He spotted a cozy bakery with a delightful aroma wafting from its doors. He decided to go inside and sample a delicious strawberry cupcake. The baker was amazed but delighted to have such a special guest and accepted Dumbo's payment with a smile. As Dumbo made his way through the footpath, he spotted a little girl who had lost her kitten. The girl was crying and Dumbo couldn't bear to see her sad. With a gentle flap of his ears, he soared up a tree and rescued the frightened kitten. The girl's tears turned into tears of joy as she hugged her beloved pet, thanking Dumbo with a big smile. Dumbo's heart swelled with happiness as he continued on his adventure. He now had a new friend, the grateful kitten, who decided to join him. Together, they ventured further into the city. As they wandered, they reached the bustling high street, which was even busier than the footpath. The high street was filled with colorful stalls, selling all sorts of goodies like toys and sweets. Dumbo and his new friend couldn't resist exploring. At one stall, they found a talented juggler who was entertaining a crowd of children. Dumbo watched with fascination as the juggler tossed colorful balls into the air. Feeling inspired, Dumbo decided to use his magical ears to juggle. The children clapped and cheered, amazed by the flying elephant's incredible skills. Dumbo and his friend continued through the market, where they discovered a food stall selling the most mouth-watering sandwiches. Dumbo ordered a giant peanut butter and banana sandwich, and his friend enjoyed a plate of fresh fish. They savored their treats while sitting by a nearby fountain, watching the world go by. As they finished their meal, they heard the joyful sounds of street musicians playing lively tunes on their instruments. Dumbo swayed to the music, and his friend danced on his back. A crowd gathered around, and soon, a lively street party had formed, with people of all ages dancing and celebrating. The day turned into evening, and Dumbo and his friend had experienced the most incredible adventure. The rain had stopped, and the city lights began to twinkle. It was time to return to the circus. With one final flap of his magical ears, Dumbo soared into the sky with his friend and gently landed back at the circus. They had shared kindness and joy with everyone they met, and Dumbo's heart was filled with gratitude for the magical day he had experienced in London. As they returned to the circus, Dumbo knew that sometimes, the most magical adventures could happen when you followed your heart and explored the world beyond your own familiar surroundings, even if you were a flying elephant in the heart of a wet and wild London. And so, Dumbo and his friends settled down for the night, their hearts full of memories of their rainy day adventure in the bustling city.